On this episode of Large Person Wonders, we are here out at Rocky Mountain Airport in Broomfield, Colorado. We have a very unique experience. We get to go see the B-17 up close and personal today. And how are we doing today? So, tell me just before me, you, you haven't been out to this airport before? So this ought to be quite the experience. You can see what the underside of the wing looks. So when you guys get to see these things on TV and on the History Channel, they seem larger than life and these airplanes really, really are not very large. Not a great scheme of things. And up on the big front of the nose, but above the guns, is where the actual Norton bomb site was, and that's where the bombardier would sit. I couldn't imagine getting shot at in one of these things with this very lightly armored pressed aluminum. And here comes a British BAE-146 slurry bomber coming down the runway getting ready to make a run, unfortunately. It's a very unique looking airplane. This looks like a mini 747 kind of. It has those four little squishy engines. And here's what the bomb bay of the B-17 actually looks like. And believe it or not, it's really not very big. And here's where the <clears throat> bombardier would sit. Oh god, I can barely get my ass through. And what you're looking at is where the radio operator sat and the navigator's table sat, <clears throat> which is kind of unique. So you can imagine. Things I do for him. Things I do for him. You remember this, babe. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the video. <laughs> Here's one of the side gunner stations. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I barely got my ass through that. That big ball looking thing is where the actual ball gunner or the bottom gunner sat. I can only imagine trying to squeeze into that thing. Yikes.
little. <laughs> yeah, even you'd feel crazy. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Large Person Wanderings. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. We'd love to hear from you in the comments.